All right, guys, welcome to episode two of Whiskey Babel. Everybody out there in podcast land, thanks for tuning in. Um, tonight's featured whiskey, once again, we're not sponsored by anybody. We're just doing this for fun. Uh, Jefferson's Reserve. Apparently, it's a really good brand. Um, we're going to get a little buzzed on it tonight, and uh, it's going to be fun. So our guest tonight, Kevin Hamrock. Um, Hi. He is a artist. Also works in a metal fabrication company. Does some pretty cool yep. stuff there. Trying to start off his own business there. Uh, we'll talk about that. But um, yeah, so let's get rolling on this episode. All right. Hey, Kevin, how's it going, man? It's going great. Right on, feeling right on. good. You feeling good? I think, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Little backstory, everybody. We are currently <laughs> um, in Big Bear right now for my uh, my bachelor party. And uh, last night I almost died. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm he, pretty... Uh, <laughs> I think he watched himself dying. He had an out-of-body experience. I uh, I'm, I puked. Uh, I threw up in the uh, the cab. So, um, <laughs> it was a mandatory $200, mandatory clean. $200 fee for puking in the cab. So, and then, uh, <laughs> and that, then, that came out of someone's pocket and it's freezing right now. So at, at one point, I guess I was left uh, on the steps into the cabin and yeah. they pulled me in. I was purple. We had, and we then, had to carry uh, you by your belt up, up, like straight up the stairs. And then, so I guess it means it was a, su a success then. I think so. I mean, and, then, yeah. and then at one point, um, I believe, uh, I was turning different shades of green yeah, that was that was that that was after the the shot that sent you over the edge, and um, I think up up until that point it was going great. We were going well. I, everyone was and then vibing. That happened. Everyone was vibing really well, and then and then some local, some bear local, decided yeah. to give you some weird shot. The women up here are gruff. She uh she definitely ordered me that. It was like it wasn't just a shot. It was like a like a, a goblet of, full a goblet of, of dark whiskey. liquid. I had to like chug it. Like, I wasn't like a shot where you and it's done. I had no. to like. Go, 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 go. And I was sitting. I was sitting next to you, and I just I saw your <laughs> face after the even just smelling it, and um, I was worried. I was on that point where I was I was too drunk to like feel. Yeah, like you were staring. Like, you just were staring at things like right, like a, <laughs> like a packet of salt. You were just staring at and <laughs> with like anger in your eyes. It, it wasn't. It wasn't fun. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I was I was trying, but whatever. It was fun. Well, it's the whole yeah. point, right? Yeah. So now we got our Pedialyte out here and. Uh, Drinking grape. <laughs> Time for the boot and rally to get going. I know this was this was actually we have quite a few people here. Um, hopefully we're gonna bang out a couple podcasts tonight. Um, but I'm pretty sure this blueberry was mine, and it kind of hurt my feelings when I saw John drinking from it. But that's cool. I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's okay. I got I got coconut water in there, right? Okay. Yeah, we do. We got some coconut water. Yeah. Okay. Back on topic. Oh, um, sure. So art went to uh, went to U of A, and you got your bachelor's in fine art. Am I BFA. right? BFA. B yeah, BFA. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Yeah. Bachelor of a BFA? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more it's a BFA. prestigious. Oh, okay, okay. Bachelor of Fine Arts. <laughs> and um yeah. what what are you uh what are you doing with that these days? I mean, art wise, are you still painting? Um, no. Um really I just transferred that uh that creative energy into what I'm doing now. And it's uh wire reproductions, kinda of starting a my own business and uh we're doing mid century modern um reproductions of old stands, the really, you know, hairpin legs. And is there a place that uh, people can go and kind of see your stuff? Um, yeah, I have my own Etsy Etsy shop. Uh, it's Wirehouse, but Wire spelled W Y R E, and then House is German, so H A U S. And you just go there, and we can see all, all the fine yeah, products them. you have to offer. Or follow me on uh, Instagram. And you're also <laughs> at. Uh, you're also. <laughs> we, got we got some giggles. We got some giggles going on. We have an audience. Descend for this well, podcast throw, tonight. The thing that really sparked off the night was throwing that whole bag of charcoal on that fireplace. Yeah. Like, kind of. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure this camera over here is picking it up, so <laughs> we'll be able to see that in the video, get rolling on it. <laughs> so what's, um, okay, so mid-century modern type furniture. Now, what what does that mean? From a... <laughs> <laughs> like, what, like, somebody what like me does has no idea what, what they're talking about. Let's just say, I'm well, yeah, I'm kind of an idiot, but n so no idea what's going on with mid-century modern. What type of furniture is that? What am I looking at? Um, what I specifically do is like record stands, plant stands, um, anything like consoles. It's it comes from the fifties and sixties. So that's the that's the time frame we're looking at, like fifties, sixties yeah, like era 50s, furniture. 60s, yeah. 
And then you're getting into like some of the woodworking furniture also, right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, trying to dabble in the different uh, fields. So like reclaim wood or, you know, doing that kind of stuff, which is really hot right now. The reclaim wood. Yeah, so the reclaim damn hot wood. right now. Yeah, so, <laughs> so in right now. <laughs> I mean, everybody's just doing the reclaim wood, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Cool, man. Cool. And the, the relationship's going good. Everything there's going going good yeah everything's great man you giving it up yeah, <laughs> yeah. so tell me more about uh, working in the factory man that's what i want to hear about working in the factory at hamrock explain it explain um, it what is it i work it's a family business okay. first off so i work with six of my uncles um it's custom fabrication so we're a job shop and um what's some of the stuff you work on uh we do a lot of ins like uh commercial installations of uh workstations um anything that deals with sheet metal basically and make custom fabs all that kind of stuff yeah what um what led you to kind of do like the furniture what what made that happen because you were you were doing like you were painting i i have one of your paintings yes and my dad's still waiting for it, his painting too it's it's been about 10 years i think been I about 10 years that my dad's been waiting painting. for that painting but it, yeah. it's cool whatever but um so what made you focus like change your shifts and go like hey you know what i want to I want to do this. I want to do furniture. Was it because like it was just there, like the the supplies were there? Yeah, for every you to yeah, the making, it? the making, the makings were uh, right there. You're just and, and you just said, okay, cool, let's. Yeah, I think my what what happened was my uncle is does uh, the Long Beach Flea Market at Veteran Stadium. Uh, I think it's like the third Sunday of every month, and that's just uh, uh, the mecca, one of the meccas of like mid century modern vintage antiques and stuff like that and you really can find anything under the, under the sun there so you know going to those a couple of times and then seeing what we do at the factory you know, just started going into that very cool making very my own cool. stuff and you guys do all of like the the painting on site and all the welding and everything is done yeah at the it's factory an, it's an all-in-one job shop so you know we can take a design um refine it then make it into production then it goes into powder coating which is like a, a colored finish and then we pack it out and ship it so and then it's, which is rare yeah right that's because isn't isn't that stuff usually outsourced mm -hmm. don't a lot, a lot of, of it's a lot of it's outsourced what they like they'll they'll get it they'll assemble it here and then it's shipped somewhere else and exactly. painted, and then it's packaged somewhere else and yeah. yeah yeah no exactly a lot of places don't have a powder coat system or a dis engineering so it's it's a it's a fun environment to work in cool man well that's what i like to hear so is there any plans to go back to the painting or what yeah yeah there is of course it's somebody, always there. Somebody fart over there? Is that what's going on? Somebody dropped. I, some, I think someone's got some mountain gas building up. <laughs> I do, dude. I'm telling you, I, I'm pretty sure that the altitude up here. I'm like, I am. I mean, me. you've 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 dumped what four times today? Um, yeah, total. I mean, it's four it's really because of the diet that I ate yesterday. We drank a lot. It was it was mainly beer, <laughs> and um, I, we still have like a full keg for that's gonna get split between what seven guys now yeah so you know we got a lot of work to do and is i that, think is it's the big keg tapped yet or no no we're just we're, we're booking with the stella I'm keg so bummed that i bought that keg what they, they we're gonna get to it no, chill no we're not <laughs> i mean we could start inviting the locals over here i mean that's an option dave's about to lose his mind i'm, I'm dave's gonna get some locals over here i'm sure i feel like i feel like young david needs to uh take a couple of shots or something with us <laughs> some yeah. on-air shots Get rolling on it. <laughs> I just tried this uh, this whiskey, by the way. Oh yeah, what'd you think? It's, it's a bourbon or whiskey? What's uh, going on right now? straight bourbon whiskey. Yeah. Very old, very That's small good. batch. <laughs> says I was, right I was there. Laughing. I was laughing about that earlier. It says right there. Can't lie very about small. it. Very small. Dude, this was a nice bottle, man. This was oh, a yeah. present from someone. Um, that person chooses to remain nameless, but it was a present from someone, and mm. um, I'm I'm digging it, man. It's like fifty bucks. It's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't normally spend over twelve ninety nine for my whiskey, so <laughs> uh, this is quite <laughs> a treat. That you're you're lucky if your whiskey comes in a glass bottle, right? Yeah, like <laughs> what is it? Is it um, was it pop off that comes in the plastic bottle? Yeah, that's that's pop off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think there's a couple um, other new ones that came out on the market. There's early times. Ooh, yeah. Ugh. I think even Canadian <laughs> Club maybe come it oh, comes in God. plastic. Yeah, it does. You know, it's it's yeah, real Canada good. Canada mist. Canada mist. That's Canadian mist. Is. Canadian mist. <laughs> You know, I have an aunt. No, no, this is a true story. I have an aunt that, and my uncle that will just drink Canadian mist. That's disgusting. Like, that's what they do. They live in Pennsylvania, and there's nothing else to do there. So they, drink. they buy it by the handle, and, like, it's Canadian mist, dude. That's their drink. I'm like, my dad has to specifically go out 
and get bottles when they're coming into town of Canadian mist. Interesting. I mean, I like to drink, but I don't know if I have a brand. Like, yeah, I'm like, I'm not at that <laughs> level. I'm not at that level yet to be like, no, I only drink. That's expert. I only drink that. That's expert drinking right there. I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, that's that's just um, you're sticking to your brand. You're brand man. Yeah. That is such a thing. <laughs> I'm making it up. Making it up. Just go with it, bro. That's the point of this podcast, yeah. man. Yeah. Just go with it. Yeah. Just, I mean, if you just want to take your shirt off. Nope. I might. I'll just do like one more button so you can see oh what's going on. Don't you work again? <laughs> show me the hamburger meat. Maybe by the end of this podcast, the shirt's show me a little bit of the hamburger meat and and just walk away. You know what's going on. Tickle and tease. That's Kevin. all right. Let's let's move into a different <laughs> area here. We'll talk a little about that later. How are sales doing at um like the swap meet? What do you guys? Like um, what what I mean, I I know nothing about this business, so so don't fall first me off. That. It's it's a flea market, so let's okay. Let's use what did I call it? Call it the swap meet. Swap meet, whatever. Is there, there's a difference. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Matt didn't know that either, so I don't feel that bad. That's well, fine. I got knowledge. Right? Okay, so yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now it's, it's it's it really it changes from month to month, and I and I'm, I haven't done it in a while just because um, it's hard to get a spot there at Veteran Stadium. But you know, one month you can do really well, and the next one's completely dead. It just depends on who's going to be there. And Mr. Brainwash it. goes there. Yeah, I saw him. I saw I was, him that one time, and I was I, trying really hard to see Mr. Brandon that day. And um, Laura was miserable, but I was trying. You wanted to get an autograph. I wanted. I wanted some found art, bro. Yeah. I wanted him to just. I guess so. This is somebody art. You know, when I when I took art at a in school, my professor was obviously an artist, and he always said, "Art is just being at the right place at the right time." And he always says, "Like, oh, I could have painted a Campbell soup can, but I didn't." And I didn't do it at the right time. That yeah, was always yeah. his his saying. You know yeah. what I mean? So I and I art is one of those things where like anything could literally be art. Like you pee on a wall and or like was it like piss Christ right where that dude put the crucifix in the bottle of pee? Oh really? I yeah, didn't that even was hear you that. know this is famous. No. Yeah, look, look it up. Yeah, look, look, look this, this up. up. Piss Christ. Uh, you might get some weird searches, really. <laughs> but that's where we're going. Um, piss Christ, eighty-seven photograph. Oh, this is Andres Serrano. So this is when we did like um, photograph in my class, and oh, okay. it was like controversial. So they did like he just peed in a bottle for like a month, like a big glass jar. Oh, okay. And then he just put a crucifix in it, and that's art, apparently. Okay, so <laughs> I mean, what? It's <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it, it's 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 a famous famous photographer. Oh, really? Yeah, he was like up there with Maplethorpe. I've heard I I the name uh, escapes me, but I heard about this German artist. That was like an installation artist and a performer. Is that the guy that pooped in the cans? No, no, he didn't oh. poop. There wasn't. It's there is poop involved in his art. Um, he built like a like a working uh, digestive system, so like food would go in it, one in. It's a super long thing, but at the end, like you can take home uh, poop as like a souvenir. Like it will poop it out from like a tube onto a plate, and it, and you can take it home with you. Well, there's that famous artist from like the 20s or whatever that filled a bunch of cans. Like tuna cans with poop, his own poop, and then he had the cans resealed, and then he actually sold them. And now to this day, they're they're obviously they're worth a fortune, but they don't want to like nobody's nobody everybody's scared to open them because that ruins it. Yeah. But it's like everybody thinks that they're not full of anything. Like it was all a big grand scheme, and he made like millions of dollars off of this. Oh, I love that. Yeah, this like poop art that like. <laughs> were they just like were they just regular cans of tuna? Fish? It looked like a tuna can, and on it it had like the artist name. It said oh. like, Kevin Hamrock's like poop. And it was like written. Why on the don't side we of the do can. that? Why don't we just poop? Because we didn't do it, and we didn't. And we do weren't it there at the, at the right, right time. time. Oh that's my why, god! That's why. That's why we're not doing it right now. <laughs> but um, yeah. So Mr. Brainwash. So Found Art. This is where I kind of got off off topic with it. But like um, so Found Art, and you did that with like a receipt or something, right? Where you just yeah, just, you just, I just find something that receipt, speaks to you, and I framed it, and he framed it and put it on his wall. That's art, and it's a good conversation, you know, starter. But what the hell is that? Oh, it's a shopping receipt. I found like I don't know, but. Anyways, so I was trying to get Mr. Brainwash now, and nobody that knows, let's do a quick backstory of Mr. Brainwash. A, because it helps with the show, and B, because I think people are interested. But um, Mr. Brainwash, whose near name is Terry... Something French. Terry something. Bradshaw. His cousin is... <laughs> Terry Bradshaw. His cousin <laughs> is um, Space Invader. That's his cousin. Were they related in some mm -hmm. way? His cousin was Space Invader. I'm trying to remember the uh, that movie. So you guys can Google it. Space Invader. He goes around and he does like um, tile mosaics. like yeah, like bathroom tile mosaics all of, of Space Invader for the video game, and he puts them all around. As yeah, art. they're really really. There nice. was actually one in San Diego 
Laura and I were at some mall down there, and it's like a famous like. Oh, cool. It's on a wall in San Diego, and nobody messes with it because it's actually like Space Invader. But anyways, um, so Terry was a filmmaker, and he had an obsession with Banksy. And um, yeah, that's right. And Banksy's like a real controversial artist that anybody knows. I was I've been trying to get a Banksy note forever. I want one of those so bad. When he made the fake, did you money. find one on? You found one on eBay though. Yeah, and I should have bought it, but I didn't know. Like, you really can't know if it's real or not. Yeah, exactly. So he made a bunch of fake money, like with the queen making a face on it, and uh, actually distributed like hundreds oh, like a of festival, thousands, right? Like yeah, like hundreds of festival? thousands of these bills. And actually, the government had to like rally up and collect all the bills, but there's still some out there. It's pretty brilliant. They look just like money, and people were actually spending it, and it kind of threw a wrench in things, which is kind of what Banksy. Anyways, so Brainwash is obsessed with Banksy. He's making a documentary about Banksy. And it kind of turned into a whole documentary about himself um, and what he does with his art. And, yeah. And if I remember is, correctly, like, he just loved videotaping stuff. Yeah, he had, like, like right. hundreds of thousands of hours. He just videotaped his whole life. Yeah. But you can, like, he's, but he's very similar to, like, Banksy and the idea of some of, like, what his art is. Let's see, Mr. Brainwash. Google this. Just Google that shit. But, yeah, you go to, like, his website or whatever. You can buy, like... He had like these really cool spray paint cans that I wanted and a bunch of other stuff. But anyways, um, back on topic. So we were trying to get Mr. Brainwash's autograph and we stood there forever and didn't happen. Didn't He's happen. kind of a dick, though. Yeah. The, the oh, times really? I've the times I've run into him or at least watched him from afar behind a cabinet. He, at the he had his he had his uh, assistant there. Yeah. That was buying everything for him. And <laughs> what's going on over there? Yeah, let's let's. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what? Random treasures on Facebook. Ooh. Oh my god. Sex to a girl in the smoke room when she gets in the bathroom and he totally like rejects her like she's the one out of the double there. She beats the shit out of her. That happens. Chicks. Women be crazy. crazy. Oh, you said it. I don't, I don't want to say Can bitches. You believe, do I have to believe that out? All the social justice warriors, dude, are going to come on our freaking <laughs> our Twitter and our Instagram. <laughs> and that got, that and guest you had? Guys. That guest you had? Oh, gosh. Equality. When he said that word? Equality. <laughs> yeah. Men can be bitches, too. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> Let's let's change the subject. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're changing the subject right <laughs> let's now. Let's get let's get on to movies because so, we we're we're huge movie. Yeah, what do you want to talk about? Movies. Talk to me. Um, are they remaking Point Break? I heard about that. Let's find out. Dave, what are your thoughts? Is anybody in the room currently? <laughs> do, are they remaking Point Break? Is it just a rumor? Oh, okay. I just I want to get a conversation Point out of you, Taylor. Point Break, 2015, on IMDb. Let's see. Utah, they're two. Making a, they're making a Top Gun 2? That's incredible. Top Gun 2? Does that have Tom in it? Yep. Luke, it's got Tom in it? Yeah. Jesus. So Luke Bracey is going to play Johnny Utah. I have no idea who that is. But, I mean, you just can't beat. It's Wavy. You, no, that's... Or Keanu. Keanu. What? I really hope he's a bad actor. Whoever he's got to be a bad actor. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Gary Busey? I'm an Gary FBI Busey was in agent. <laughs> yeah, Gary Busey was... a. Uh, this guy doesn't even look anything like. I the really, original. I really like when they were ordering the meatballs. It was just a funny react like thing. Two, Utah, two. <laughs> There's a place around the corner. Got these meatball subs. <laughs> Great just... meatball sandwiches. <laughs> I need two. And a lemonade. Utah. I think you ordered a lemonade, lemonade too. And this one was it. This one looks like a roadkill. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you like choke a donkey. Or it's something not like even. That. It's not even like this one looks like roadkill. This one looks like a roadkill. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> this one looks like that a had some. Kill. That's just had classic lines in it. <laughs> like super. Just it's it's like you can quote those. Pull your shit. Anytime. Yeah. <laughs> and then um then I mean another classic movie that's just you can quote lines is Dumb and Dumber obviously. Yeah. Dan, what do you think about Dumb and Dumber too? <sighs> you know my thoughts. I told you it was horrible. But you, who 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 else? Thoughts, it's the nobody same. Else listening to this podcast knows your thoughts, so let's let's I'm, we'll we'll work it out. But <laughs> it's it was the same plot, basically almost it was, verbatim. It was almost the same plot, just completely different. Yeah, because I was angry <laughs> because the original plot was they were trying to take the money to marry Slippy Slap Swan 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 no, it would have been case. Samsonite. <laughs> <laughs> I was See way it? off. <laughs> no, but the the next one was about them. Trying to reunite with his daughter. It wasn't the same plot. No, it wasn't at all. even the daughter. Oh, I almost spoiled it there. Well, who cares? Well, it's a stupid movie anyway. Don't go see it. Yeah, you did kind of just ruin it though. Yeah. Spoiler alert. I did that again. Spoiler that was not alert. the same time I did that tonight. Spoiler alert. But um Yeah. 
The daughter? Yeah. Yeah. She's got that weird mouth. Yeah, but it it works for me. It's cute, it's cute though. It's cute, it's cute but it's just like she's got a, like a weird underbite. <laughs> no, what what would have been cool if like Harry was like kind of like matured after a while, and then like well, they made Harry more dumb, and he was actually like the intelligent yeah. one. In he the was first yeah, movie. he was he was the rock in that relationship. Like, Tahi the oh, it's <laughs> the. a big one. International <laughs> Preservation <laughs> Society. <laughs> uh, but um, it would have been cool if like he was like kind of like some salty kind of like guy that his friend just came back in his life, and he's looking for his. Kidney and I got worms. <laughs> Excuse me? No, that's what we're gonna call it. I got worms. <laughs> Specializing how worm they, feed. How do they know I'm the gas man? <laughs> and um, great lines. But yeah, that. they I mean it was a, I thought it was a good movie, but they definitely um they they definitely overplayed like them being stupid. And they were trying yeah, too it was hard too much. They were trying too hard to be their original characters. And they got like fancy with uh, for me, like I started to break down like cinematography and they got a little too fancy with shots and it was just well, I think because of when they originally did, the Farley brothers just had like a video camera and they're like, oh, OK. Yeah, like. I thought that was. But it was like <laughs> that. The first movie for me was just something that was that was based more in reality than 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 this one. I mean, so I don't so, know. It didn't do it for me. Hold on. We're Some checking if uh, we need to put our phones on vi- on the airplane mode here. I don't know. Are you hearing it on the table? No, probably not because the stand, right? Did you uh, hear that? Did you hear that? No. No. OK, there. cool. Well, keep the phones keep rocking. Out. Keep the phones out. Are they creating static like last time? I won't know until I'm editing. Oh, you want to tell you're editing? So. Yeah, on the last podcast, uh, my my guest was very popular, and he decided to get a lot of text messages that caused static in the... He's in the, <laughs> he's in the industry. Oh, he's in the industry. He's in he's, the know, bro. He's in the industry. <laughs> like, I don't think you understand. <laughs> Once again, I would like to thank... He's actually uh, here right now. <laughs> CBS for providing us with... P- uh, Pediatric we're not sponsored by Pedialyte. Um, we're just. We're, not, we're also not sponsored by CVS. By CVS. <laughs> so anytime, anytime you drop, uh, anytime like I'm pretty sure we have to unofficial say that. sponsor. I'm pretty sure we have to say it. No, it's not no. an unofficial sponsor. It's nothing. <laughs> Don't say that. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> we'll fix it in post. Okay. I really thought I was gonna die. Last night? Yeah. Well, this morning too. Like I tried to. I like. I. I, woke I wanted up with to one like, contact leak. in, bro. What? You shot like, it. You shot it out you of your eye when you projectile projectile vomited on boots. Violently vomited. Yeah. I had to wash all my clothes from last night. Because yeah, that was bad. <laughs> what was, was even worse is the chain reaction that you caused. <laughs> oh yeah, I puked and then Matt over here, our producer, he puked and then our other our other alpha friend Mike, he puked. And I still sw- I still swear by like I saw Matt. An entire piece of pizza came out of his mouth. Yeah, how'd you do that? <laughs> it's really, you know the funny funny part about that? What? Is I, I didn't have any pizza. <laughs> that's scary. See, that's scary. I, I thought I saw like a, like a wad of cheese and a pepperoni, and I was like... Un, un, he eats uh, like a duck, bro. He just uh, like a I, pelican. Just, yeah, it just doesn't, you see, it doesn't even chew. Just I used like to eat really fast. My mom would like look at me because I was like... <laughs> I would I would like throw my food back like a fish and I just swallow. dude. My mom still to this day, Laura also they they go you shove a food into your mouth and I was like well it's kind of uh, you know it's very um it's aggressive I I always thought of it as an aggressive <laughs> technique of shoving well the, the, the thing, food the thing is bro watching you eat a, like, a subway sandwich was the worst well you have to understand too it's it's a very like it's an innate like urge because back in the day. You know, you'd get a meal in front of you. And I, when I say back in the day, I mean like caveman days. You had to eat all the food right there because you didn't have a fridge or anything like that. So oh, I, I'm oh, pretty sure I, I that's I, your excuse. I put it back to my genetic makeup that I have to eat as much as I can while I'm sitting. It's because instinct. It's instinct. Thank you. That's it's, the word I was looking it's, for. It's natural. It's natural. That's my instinct. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so there's a couple good movies coming out. I want to see Birdman. Did you see Birdman? I saw Birdman. What would you think about it? Good. Cause everybody's it lived up to the hype. It. it lived up to the hype. Everybody's it blasting great. it. Whatever, just go see go see movies for yourself. Don't, don't yeah. Well, I was listening opinion. to another podcast and um, they were talking about uh, Michael Keaton. Yeah. And how like they showed him putting away his acceptance speech and everything like that. And the whole point of the show was to kind of show the humanity of people because everybody kind of focuses on celebrities. So I'm kind of talking about celebrities right now. So I'm kind of the <laughs> the antithesis of my own show but but i like Good it because word, what yeah what we're getting some big words into this oh, big word yeah dude i got a thesaurus right up in front of me so i i, I googled i googled other and that's what came up so <laughs> but um anyways no he was they were talking about it and they're talking about how like people will walk up to celebrities and just be like like oh you didn't win that because like that movie sucked 
And the celebrity is kind of just like, whoa, dude. Like, yeah, it's like, hey, I, I have feelings. <laughs> like, what did I do to deserve that? It's true, though. People get put on blast like that all the time. Yeah. But what are you going to do about it? Yeah, everyone's a critic. At the end of the day, everyone's a critic. I can see your chest hair from here. You stop shaving your chest? I, dude, have you ever known me? Yeah, you shaved that? it for a while. No, that's you. Kevin is. Don't, no, don't, don't you still? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I still have them. My chest hair grows in like the Chanel C's, not sponsored. Can I see? And um, can I see? <laughs> you want to see it right I now? I want to see it. Okay, bro. This video is live, right? <laughs> wow. It looks like right around my nipples, the Chanel C's. So. <laughs> We're not sponsored by Chanel. We're not sponsored by Chanel, no, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not allegedly. No, we're not. No, we're, not. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. Uh, with all due respect. With all due respect, you have to throw all those kinds of those those safe words in there, or else yeah. you know Chanel's gonna it's gonna be whiskey babble by Chanel because they're gonna. <laughs> let's take another. Let's get another. Let's just throw what we got into our. In we're our finishing glasses these glasses right now. Yeah, might as well, and we'll pour a little bit more. Who? Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, it burns. Don't breathe out. Don't breathe out. That's the key. It makes it worse. Don't, don't breathe out. It makes it worse. Let me get a. Let me give you. Let me get a. Sure little, it, but no, I'm pretty sure I just pulled that from my room, set it on the table. Actually, Jake. Oh. Jake, that. Yeah. yeah. I'm Good sorry. Wow. You know, was it was a bar sick complaining about someone drinking his Pedialyte? That's yeah, what I'm saying. This was this. That was yes. No, that was yesterday. These are brand new Pedialytes. No way, dude. Somebody stole my. There's there should have been two blueberry Pedialytes. Two in the room. And one of them was stolen. Like we got here. Is it is it gonna cause this much stress for you that someone took your pedialyte that, that, that I bought for you? I was chilling. That I bought for you. John had to yell from across the room. <laughs> That's not true. What's the bat? What's the Batman quote? It's like you can live long enough for uh, you become the villain or whatever. Uh, you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yeah. You die a hero, you live long enough. So you're becoming you the villain. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're bringing Bane into this podcast. Yes. <laughs> uh, Can I get some more whiskey, sir? Yes, pour it, dude. You're, you're, oh, you're I'm, I'm, man. I thought the host was supposed to be the most. <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys need rocks? Uh, I'm all right right I'll now, I'll take man. a couple of cubes. Getting some ice in here, dude. Oh, dang. Okay, Kevin. Okay. Go ahead, cocktail waiter. Sorry, I was, I was yeah, placing right. a scotch. You guys, we now actually, uh, we now in the studio actually have our own cocktail waitress. <laughs> um, her name is John. <laughs> She's beautiful. She's lovely. She's six feet of man. Go for it. Go, go. How tall are you? Six foot. Six foot. Did you see how deep he said six foot? Yeah, because he, he knows he's on mic right now. So he had to like it. Six foot. I'm actually a six foot. And, uh, There's some power behind that. I'd show it to you, but the floor is dirty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Come here, John. Give a little high into the mic there. Come here. Come here. Get over here. Hi. How y'all doing today? God, he's got a sultry voice. I that love was it. velvety. That was velvety. That was like velvety cheese just smeared all over it. <laughs> oh, my God. We all know where that, uh, what that cheese velvita does. Velvety cheese. <laughs> Dude, this is why I wanted Kevin on. Super here. thick. It just, you know, that stuff just. It's like diarrhea of the mouth, dude. It just falls out. But I love it. No, that's you good. know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you for those. <laughs> Wait, what did he just say? I don't know, but <laughs> something about Velveeta cheese. <laughs> His voice is so sultry. Yeah, like Velveeta cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Oh my god. You never, you never cooked with Velveeta cheese? No, I don't actually. It's, it's like a brick. It comes in brick form. I just buy the bricks of cheese. We got a cool cr- a cheese grater. As oh. a wedding present. Oh. I've been grating that. Like hand or is it like a electronic? No, it's a hand grater. I like that. I like to bring some. What's up? <laughs> I'm sorry. How many subscribers do we have? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> let's let's cut that. Let's cut that bit out. Everybody, all the six people in this room. I think, I think we're all here. So. <laughs> you could just see the counter going down to zero. Yeah, it's like, oh, God. Episode one was kind of good. Episode two sucks. This, I'm looking at this like a live audience. <laughs> Dave's over here. We're doing it live. We're Dave will eventually live. be a guest. We're actually going to do a podcast from his ranch. Not the, not and uh, Dave actually has two ranches. Dave actually Dave actually has two ranches. One one his family owns and one he just goes to a lot. <laughs> and so <laughs> so thinks he owns it, but. <laughs> Let me see your glass. So I can uh, fill you up there. It's right there, dude. Okay. I f- like I feel better than I'm drinking. This, really, this I still feel alcohol? horrible. Like, physically, I feel horrible, but like inside my body, it's starting to warm up. Mm. You know? I feel like I was hit by a dump truck. 
but That's too bad. I don't know. Anyways. Anyways, so let's go. We go bit, what? What? What, are you Wait, gonna say? what were you going to say? What were you going to say? I don't know. I said I was what I was about to talk about. Was we go back. We go back a long time. Can't yeah, tell the story of when we got arrested. Well, we weren't arrested. We weren't arrested. We were, arrested. We were detained. We were detained. We were detained. We were detained. <laughs> let's tell that story. Go for it. Um, <laughs> Where do we even start? It was you t- taking the airsoft gun into the car, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you're, so you had a forerunner, and the back window, back of the window forerunner right, yeah. rolled down, and we were shooting at another guy's car. And, it wasn't another um, guy. It was, it was well, our it was good a good friend. friend it was a good it was, friend. And he actually got us out of trouble because he no, they were shooting at my car. It was an airsoft gun. They you're, shoot you're, little, you're jumping way too forward. You know? Little BBs. And um, anyways, we pull out of Disneyland parking lot. <laughs> well, was, like before that, before that, we were going to downtown Disney. We saw a movie. And yeah, we did. Nah, did we go see a movie? We I just think we saw out. a movie. And did we just go to Wetzel's Dog? Movie. We didn't go to Wetzel's Dog? We always liked I that. I don't know. That man. was a good date spot. It was a good date spot. And then we, so we... We went, we pulled out, we had one cop car behind us, and then I looked up and there was two cop cars behind us. And I tell you, to, I just told you to like shove the gun underneath. Four cop the cars. The worst thing you can do is just hide hey, Jake, it. Jake, Jake, put the gun underneath. That's how, that's how put the, the gun underneath Jake, the, Jake, Jake, the Jake, seat. Jake, 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 Jake. There's six cars behind us, six cop cars. Now there's eight. Like, hide the gun. And I was yeah. like, what? It's what? <laughs> so <laughs> we're, we're like, we're about to take a lap on a ball and busy. It was like eight o'clock in, in they shut the middle down of Disney. Ball. So oh. I'm driving. Oh, you never heard this story, wow. Matt? No. You never oh, heard this about story? To. Let me let me let me tell. Let me Go embellish it, we're, we're a little just bit. Of this. Go. Um, so you know we're all the way up to we're up to the point in the story where I'm at us at the turn. We, le- we, we're in we the left turn lane. We have about ten cop cars behind us. It wasn't. Wow. Like, it was yeah. when <laughs> when we pulled up to the light. I thought initially I was just speeding. I, I I thought I was going a little too fast, and you know one cop car was behind us, and I looked in the rearview mirror, and and two cop cars showed up then three and then four and i just look at jake like, what, what the hell what's going on man like you can, you can say what the f word i can drop f-bombs you can on say it? The, you, you can say the f word yeah can, you want to say what the fuck was going on you can say what the fuck was going on can, <laughs> <laughs> we're not we don't we don't we don't we got to confirm with the suits we're, 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 we're listening to confirm. an explicit podcast yeah, so you, you can say whatever you want yeah okay, all, right, all right well um so the light turns green and and we're just you know we're we in the middle it. of our turn they flip the lights on yeah they light us up in the middle of the turn and, and then, like like three stayed back right at the intersection Matt so here's like Disney Way and then yeah. here's Ball which is a big street we turn off and like four cop cars come up behind us and the other three stay back and shut off the road yeah so and and and, and like wow. so we pull over and then now go yeah so so I'm pulling over being a good person good citizen doing everything correctly. Just pull over to the side, and spotlights are just on us already. Like it's there's enough spotlights to light up all bad, Ball dude. Road. So you know, I'm just looking at you like, what the hell is going on? Like, what's hey, going what on, did man? We do? What did <laughs> like, we do? We were trying to what figure did, it out. What we're happened? Like, what did we do? Like, I understand. Like, I probably did something, but like, what was it? Like, <laughs> yeah. And and so you, I just hear I hear over like the loudspeaker. It's like driver, put your hands out the window. To, or he's like, turn the car off. Put your hands out the window. No, they made you drop oh, the keys, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. I think they made yeah, me drop like, the reach keys. out the window and drop wow. the keys. And then they're like, the they go, go then, no, this, this is probably the scariest scary. thing I ever heard. They go, passenger, put your hands on the dash. If you move, you will be shot. Yeah. So I'm like, got my hands on the dash. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? So, so on? at that, like, at when we heard, when like, when both of us heard that, we're just like, oh, what's, what's, well, this is, this is weird. What's going on? So let me just interject one thing real quick. So when Kevin gets nervous, he puts his hands in his pockets. It's like that was an old, old. It was an old. Oh, it was an old. God. It was like an. It's like a thing. It was an old thing that I used to do. It's okay, not so, a big deal. So back into the story. I'm, so I'm so, commandeering this right now, just for a second. Oh, okay. So they tell Kevin. They go, driver. You know, use your left hand. Open the door and get out and like walk backwards to us, right? And he's like, okay. So opens the door, gets out, right? Hands up, turn around. He turns around. And his first gut reaction is to go for like his sweatshirt pockets. Yeah. And yeah. all you hear is, "Get your fucking hands! Don't do your hands! Don't do your hands!" <laughs> and he's like this, like this, like with his hands up. I'm right? sorry. I'm sorry, officer. Okay, I'm sorry. So, so then they come up to me. Now it's my turn. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me. One thing. Okay. Go. They, it's the, it's there's an important part you're missing here because you didn't get dragged back there first. Yeah. So I get, I'm walking now. They have all the spotlights on us and in, in our face, obviously for pr- <laughs> their protection. And um, I get beyond, I breach like their line of their cars and like the, I guess either the sergeant or whoever was in command at the time was, where's the gun? And I look at it and I'm like, 
What gun are you talking about? So then now they're now they're yeah. now they're bringing. Well, this is going on. They're already bringing me out of the car. Yeah. So, so they go. So they're telling me they go passenger. You know, use your hand, right hand, open the door, blah blah blah. So I'm like, and they've and dude, I I can see in the mirror. I've got three cops. Both of them armed with their with their handguns pointed at me, and one with a shotgun pointed at me, right? Wow. And I'm like, okay, guys, like I'm like I'm seatbelted in, like I need to like I'll, I'm using my left hand to undo the seatbelt, and then yeah. I'll bring my hand back. Like you had to like announce every move you made, yeah. right? So I get out, I walk backwards to him, dude, and I can feel this Remington 870 in my back, like it's in it's in my back. They're jamming this shotgun in my back, and we were like, I was like thrown on the ground, like knee on the back handcuffed wow and then and taken they're like where's the gun like wait, yelling at wait us. they did that they, they abused you that way well, well i'm not they saying it was abusive it I know, excessive. no i didn't see that happen i was just saying oh yeah no the they cars. put me on the ground knee in the back and handcuffed me and brought me back over to him well, they treated me real nice though. and then my my hands remember how our hands, <laughs> that's weird i know right maybe, maybe it was your sultry voice i, maybe think, I'm I a, think they gave me a soda <laughs> yeah I was, I, was, I was nervous they gave me a diet coke <laughs> A warm blanket. <laughs> they were consoling me in the car. Hey, I'm not kidding, bro. Like when we got back to the uh, station. Well, we'll get to the hold station. On, wait, in hold a minute. on. So let me say one thing. Though. Go. Because as they were taking you out and they're they were patting you down and stuff, the the guy that I was talking to that I, that I initially made contact with, he was just like, you know, where's the gun? I was like, I don't know what gun are you talking about. And he's like, tell me where the fucking gun is. I'm like, oh, the airsoft gun, dude. And the reaction. It's an airsoft gun. <laughs> like, like, dude, you it's like seeing these guys is like, like, just like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Because what the camera picked up, it was a clear airsoft gun. So the, the cameras, desert eagle. Yeah. So the cameras are black and white. So it looked like a nickel plated gun, and we were like, we we're waving. Brandishing it around downtown Disney. Shooting it. Brandishing uh, your firearm around downtown Disney. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, there was not, so. Anyways, so um. Oh my god. Yeah. So we we get handcuffed. We get taken back to the police station, and they actually instead of towing his car it was pretty cool because we were like less than a mile from the substation right by disney so they actually drove his car for him back they, wow. I, I think they realized we were just really scared kids you know what i mean like we weren't trying to cause any problem so they actually drove kevin's car back and parked it and then um we get so they take us to the police station and we're we're walking in <laughs> like we're walking in through this dark alley we're both handcuffed we've got two big cops behind us like two mike palin looking cops and my only thought is like i'm like <laughs> I'm like, we're going to Mike, get... Mike's our friend who's, Mike's our who's friend. large. He's big. He'll be on the episode Muscle large. You guys will see him. So my first thought, it goes to this, is like, I'm like, we're going to get raped back here. I'm like, these cops. <laughs> what? Initially, that, that didn't go through my head. It went through my unfortunately. head. Unfortunately. Because it was just really a scary like situation. I'm like, these cops are going to rape us. Like, this is this is not this is not good. <laughs> but it's like it, all your worst nightmares were coming true for really you. They cool. Like, yeah, you know, I don't. But dude, I was, yeah, I was 17. I was scared. Like, <laughs> that just went through my head. Like, those were just, those were just watched, the things watched, running through his head. I watched a lot of Locked Up Abroad, so I, I just, <laughs> I thought I knew what was coming. So they're sitting us down, and um, they take Kevin's cuffs off. But for some reason, they don't, they don't take my handcuffs see, off. They were, see, they were just, yeah, they, there was something uh, about you. Me, like, I don't know what it was. It was weird. And Give um, Kevin a hug. <laughs> so, <laughs> Give me a cup of coffee to make sure I was okay. <laughs> so Need something to eat, sir? I'm sorry. You okay there, Tiger? <laughs> I go in there and I'm like, hey, guys, can I get my handcuffs off? And they're like, your handcuffs are still on? Like, alarmed. And I was like, yeah. So they have to come in. They take My hands were purple, dude. Because the cuffs and like sitting on my hands like this, like oh, my, my hands were purple. purple. Kind of like how you were last night. They kind of like in I was a way. Last night yeah. when you guys, guys left me in the snow. snow. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. exactly like um, that. For the for the record, for the record, no one left you in the snow. <laughs> we, yeah, we. I'm pretty sure we provided you with a wind barrier. Dave left me. Dave was fine with that. I knew they had you. I, I knew I knew they had you back. So, um, anyways, so, so the cops show up. I mean, the cops finish. They call our parents. My mom comes, and I break down crying. Oh, thank God you admitted it, because like, you've never admitted it before. Yeah, dude, I cried my eyes out. It's like it was the first it was like, one to break. It was a whole bunch of like range of emotions, and for some reason, I was saying I'm sorry. Like, like <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, mom. And she was like, you really didn't do anything. Like, you so know what Jake, I mean? Like, just stop it. Yeah, just shut, I was stop acting like a bitch. Like, like the cop, the cops were starting. Like, the cops were just like, me. why? The cops were like, what? what? Yeah, right. The co- <laughs> yeah, right. So, um, so, anyways, so we had. To I didn't. Go, I my didn't. dad had to go and destroy the gun. I didn't break it. I, just for the record, again, I didn't break it. Yeah, we get it, Kevin. Alba, that was solid. So, so, talk about the classes you had to do afterwards. We're, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. So, so my dad had to go like two days after and destroy the gun in front of them. 
Like they gave him a hammer. They're ridiculous. They they gave him a hammer and he had to like smash this plate. He's like, really? Like and then so then we had, we to, had do, to do um, like you guys couldn't have just confiscated it. Could have just right? melted it down. I don't know. So then we had to do throw it in the trash. Two, two other stipulations. stipulations. We had to do was it 150 hours of community. Yeah, service? it was community service and then um, and then also um, diversion class. A, a, a scared straight type class. So. <laughs> So we're we're in the I, I go to did I go we did you? no we did we did separate we want we should have gone together because it would have been a great so memory. So I'm sitting in here, dude, and it's all young kids, right? All about my age, 17, 16, or whatever, right? And they're like, okay, so first I'm gonna have you go around and uh, you know say what your crime is, blah blah blah, and like so one kid's like, yeah, I'm here for like credit card fraud, and the next one is like, yeah, I'm here for like attempted murder, and I was like. Um, I, I was in possession of a facsimile firearm <laughs> and like everybody there had no idea what facsimile meant. I was like, it's, it's, it could be used to like take down an aircraft. Like it's, it's, it's pretty big, you know? And like, so, <laughs> so like, so anyway, so then this like this crazy guy comes in, ex prisoner type guy, you know what I mean? And, uh, I'm just keeping my mouth shut, you know, cause I don't want to get this guy yelling at me. I thought the whole thing was stupid. My, I look over my dad's rolling his eyes. Like this is retarded. Like you're never going to go to prison. Whoa. So, um, <laughs> so this so guy never comes say in never. And, what? what? Never say never. Never say never. So this so guy, guy comes guy in and he goes, and he's like, so you guys think you're tough? And we're like, I'm, I'm and, 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 like, there's kids in the class. We're like, yeah, like, what are you going to do about it? He's like, what am I going to do? You come in on the first night and I take your blanket. What are you going to do about it? And the kid was like, he's like, <laughs> what? Yeah, the, yeah, kid, the was kid was like, like, um, like, like, like not, not let you take my blanket. He's like, then I'm going to take your manhood. And like, this kid's like. Wait, how did we jump from like just stealing my blanket to like taking my manhood? And he's like, that's the way it works. Like, I'm going to take your manhood, then you mine, then you my property. And I was like, my, my dad's like, okay, like this is getting a little, a little excessive. And then, um, so that was, that was my story. And then I, we kind of left and I had to do, see, in order to graduate from our high school, you had to do community service also. So I just, I double dipped and I used all of my community service hours from my... <laughs> From from getting pulled over with the airsoft gun, I used those for high school, and I and I was able to graduate <laughs> because I double dipped it. But it worked out. What was your scared straight story? You Did know you what? Anything? I didn't have I didn't have a guy come in like wanting to take people's manhoods. Oh really? Like it was just like a normal white like mustached man. I think he was some captain of some sort. Yeah. Some, some kind high, of captain. <laughs> he had a lot of medals and shiny no, he was things. just he was just a normal looking dude. He probably worked vice or something. So uh. I don't know. Anyway, now when you I, say white, you, <laughs> mean, you mean he was Caucasian? He was Caucasian. Okay, yes. thank you. That, we just wanted to clarify okay. that. <laughs> he had a great mustache. That's what I remember. Oh, nice. That's all you remember. Yeah, that's all I remember. <laughs> now I had, I had like eight. There's like a couple eight year olds, like a ten year old, eleven, and like a sixteen, seventeen. Like the ten year old was in there for slashing tires. I mean, he was just going up and down streets with a knife and just like slashing tires. And I think that's like, that's like dumb, dumb things kids do. You know what I mean? Like, ooh. yeah. And then there was some gang members, and then sometimes you hit golf balls with tennis rackets. We hit golf balls with tennis yeah. rackets off your patio and just mischief. Really. <laughs> Adolescent so Dave, mischief. Dave, uh, one of our guests over here. He's gonna be one of our guests soon. Um, his house is up on a big hill, and it overlooks kind of all of <laughs> Anaheim Hills. And we discovered one day that we could use a tennis racket, and we could smack golf balls off of his patio and watch them really fly and. And try to listen yeah, to him hit. Hey, one time we heard like a car burn out, didn't we? Like we hit like we hit a golf ball and we're like we're like listening to it and then all he was like Poof, like like a car. And we're just like Yeah. So then my dad shows up and my dad's like, What are you idiots doing? We're like, Oh, we're smacking golf balls off of this thing. It's it's pretty funny. He's like, dude, that's so dangerous. He's like, give me one. <laughs> like, like, so my dad's over there and smacked one off of the patio too, and then we were like like a car burnout he's like get in the truck get in the truck like <laughs> just drops just drops the racket and runs <laughs> like we need to leave we need to go now oh, like oh, that's awesome let david de deal with this <laughs> this is all this is all dave's problems now but yeah that was a that was a good one but yeah i mean that was a bonding moment for you know it definitely was uh, everyone was thought we were in experience. jail everyone honestly thought we were in jail yeah by like one o'clock well, at night we, so our friend uh our friend um We'll keep his name off the radio right now, but he, he he actually saved us because he pulled up behind like the police barricade, and he and like they they were like, "What are you doing?" When he's walking up to him, he and had he, his hands in his pockets too. Yeah, and he was like, "No, like I'm their friend." They were <laughs> shooting at my car, 
Like they were, they, that's what they were shooting at. And the cops were like, oh, and they actually like that saved our yeah, butt. But, but anyways, anyway. he, we know we're young high school kids. So he goes off and tells everybody that, you know, Jake and Kevin got arrested. Like they're in they're jail. In jail. So like my phone, yeah. I get back, get back. My phone is like 30 missed calls. Like, you know, people crying. Jake, like, are you in jail? Jake, what? Are you okay? Are you yeah, safe? And I'm like, yeah, oh my like, God. It was, it, was, it was ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't man. get anything. I and then his mom, mom, his mom over here was like, don't you mention this to anybody. Like, like this is this is a secret. <laughs> like, <laughs> I of course told everybody, but did, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because I don't really care. Yeah. But um, you did you did blab that one like the second you got the the serve light the next day. Yeah, I told everybody. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't say our high school. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> but um, yeah. So that was that situation, and that was a good story. It was a good bonding moment. Yeah, I think so. We didn't have any other really police stories. No, just other kind of. Other encounters. I got cop stories probably with all the guests here. I'm gonna have a good couple good cop stories with da- with uh, Taylor when we have him on again. We didn't get we didn't delve into the cop stories, Taylor. Yeah, you never really talk to stories. It's much more industry in my career. And it's kind of boring. Yeah. You thought so? I thought it. I didn't think it was boring. No, no, no. Just other than you know this. I love this. Uh, uh, you know. What, 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 Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> how are those kettle chips? Does everyone know how to open a bag of kettle chips? Apparently. Like, how about that? No, do you like actual? Is there no, a, there's there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a there's like a little like notch or a little thing at the at the on the top or like the edge of the thing and you just rip it. You don't have to like pull it. There's just rip it out. Creates a hole. You did you know that every day? Yeah, that's how I I say a day is an accomplishment when I learn. I showed Taylor right. that today. Yeah. Did you Taylor? Did He's really happy about it. Lying. Lying. No, because it was so inflated. I can't even like. Yeah, yeah. it's hard to open those bags, bags. but there's like a little notch that you can tear, like on a packet of ketchup or something. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do one of these. <laughs> Taylor, just say you, you learned something new. Thank you. Thank you. That's all he wanted. Jeez, man. <laughs> like my goodness. So, uh, forty-five minutes. That's where we're at. So Gee, we've been talking that long. We've been talking for forty-five minutes. It doesn't seem like it, huh? You can go on all night. Probably could, but I think I'm gonna probably end this one right there. I think right, so. so. That was a good story. I mean. Finished it off with a good story, and so Kevin, um, part of the tradition is we cheers at the end of the show. Um, you can give me a little kiss if you want. I won't, I won't stop you. But <laughs> so cheers, brother. Thanks for being on the show. Anytime. We appreciate it. I'd love to come back. You'd love to come. You will have you back. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Okay. But then uh, we got I got plenty of stories about Jake. By the way. Yeah, he could go on for days about me, and like I said, everybody in this room I've known for quite a few years. So we're gonna have some interesting podcasts. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for listening. Bye. Um, episode number two is in the books. We're not a sinking ship yet, so it's kind of still working out for us. <laughs> but uh, thank you everybody for listening, and uh, hit the subscribe button, and we really appreciate it. And uh, have a great night, Whiskey Babble. Thanks, guys. <laughs>